Yes. Father, I humble myself. Yes. Yes, Lord. Because of the time. Yes. Because of the last and final days. Yes, Lord. Yes. Increase us with your knowledge and understanding. Yes, Lord. You say your people pass for the lack of knowledge. Yes, Lord. Yes. Father, give us that knowledge that we don't perish. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give us full understanding of what yes, we are up against. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the church yes, said, Lord. Amen. 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 We are in some very, very, very crucial times. Have anybody been watching the news with what's going on with Israel? Anybody been watching that? I hear a lot of people say, I don't I don't watch the news. You should. Uh, it's, it's a good thing to watch the news and kind of get your Bible and know your Bible. I used to say that we was uh, waving at biblical prophecy. I would have to say we're now kissing biblical prophecy. I have to tell you we are now face to face with biblical prophecy. The Bible says a whole nation, a whole ten kings would come against Israel. America was Israel's only ally. On the 22nd, America turned their back on Israel. Okay? So what is that saying? Anytime, and you check history, anytime America denounced Israel or turned their back, there was always judgment to America. America has always been blessed because our prayers and blessing Israel. And, uh, and I believe it was Donald Trump said he's going to go try and fix the chaos. Let me tell you something. A lot of us say we need to be praying against what's going on. I would like to ask you this. How can you pray against biblical prophecy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, you can't stop once the wheel gets to spinning. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can do is to be prepared to be ready and have your luggage packed. Yes. Mm -hmm. I often tell people when a house is burning down, sometimes the fire is such a blaze, you can't say nothing but your life. Mm -hmm. The flicker has flickered. The blaze has begun. And I admonish you, escape with your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. But I'm not going to talk so much about Israel and if it just give you a little history. In 1948, Israel became a nation. Okay, if you're familiar with the history of Israel. For, for over 1900 years, they were dispersed for denouncing Jesus. They were dispersed. And they went through this holocaust when Hitler killed about 6 million of those Jewish people. In 1967, there was a seven-day war. Jordan came against Israel. Syria came against Israel. Egypt came against Israel. All the nations came against Israel to push them to the Mediterranean Sea. They tried to destroy Israel. Many believe that it was a divine intervention that God himself sent angels to fight for Israel. Israel pulled off the impossible and won that battle in seven days. We call that the Seven Day War. In 1967, the borders got bigger because they won the war. What happened two days ago, they took that back from them. Mm -hmm. The gods are stripped. And what's so significant about that and very important about that is the Welling Wall, the Third Temple, the Temple Mount. Mm -hmm. And what the enemy has done was somehow seize that. It's very important that we get this. So, how is Israel going to get their land back and get peace? It's going to be chaos before peace. Satan is about to create chaos, and Benjamin Nahu said, I am not taking that land down, so there will be a fight. And with this fight, America is already in conflict with China and Russia. There's something going on that we need to wake up and see. And somebody say, it's time, it's time. To, smell to smell the coffee. The coffee. Whatever plans you think you may have, kind of put your plans on the back burner and focus on your soul and salvation right now. Russia has a bomb that can, and I'm pretty sure he'll tell you, my military brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> they got a bomb called the Indignation, and they call it the Satan too, and they believe they can take out the American satellites, which, which, and in fact, Controls all the drones for warfare. They are ready. 
Whatever you see in the natural, understand it first happened in the supernatural. There is a war going on. And you need and better be prepared. It's not ironic that I'm teaching on biblical prophecy or what we call eschatology or revelation. The revelation basically means you're pulling back the curtains. It don't mean that it, it, it just appeared there. It's always been there. And God is revealing something that's already was there. Okay, revelation. That means just pulling back the curtains. That don't mean the act is on stage. The act is already on stage. God is going to pull back the curtain. And when the Antichrist come on the scene, he's already here. Satan needs to just possess his body and he'll take his reign. But somebody say, thank God, thank God. For, the for the church. But certain Satan has, a Satan has a problem. Yes, he has a major problem. Why? Because the Bible say, he that related will have to be removed out of the way. And um, just to finish talking about that, we, Sister Tika said we need to rewind it a little bit because we didn't catch that. Okay, but let's go into 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 6 and 12. I need a couple of volunteers to read for me. I need you to kind of raise your hand real quick, amen? Because I don't know how much that camera going to be able to hold it. We're going to be sure we, we, we get this, all right? And 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 6 and 12. Who can get that for me? Way back there, Sister Sean. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Exodus 19, 17 and 18. Thank you, Brother Rob. Um, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 18, Brother Daryl. Okay. 1 Corinthians, no, uh, John 11, and I believe I have 43. John 11 and 43. Thank you, Sister Aisha. Um, the next one will be 1 Corinthians 15, 51. And we'll say 56. Brother Quincy. Um, I hope I can get through this here. Acts chapter 1 and 11. Brother Darrell. You got a hot hand. Amen. Um, okay. Hebrews 12 and 23. So to shine again. Thank you. And uh, Revelations 19. Seven and nine, Brother Robert. And while you got our Revelation 19, just stay there and we'll read 11 to 16. Amen. Everybody good? Okay. So let's go into um, 2 Thessalonians 2. 6 to 12. And you get to get the Lord. Amen. 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 In fact, whoever have have that passage, let's let's start in verse two, two and two. Second, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse two. That yep. ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Somebody say the day of Christ is at hand. The day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means. Say, let no man, let no, man, no, man no woman, no woman deceive, you. deceive you. Mm -hmm. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Mm -hmm. And that, men, that man of sin be revealed. Who's the man of sin? Very good. Very good. Okay. Y'all been paying attention. Go ahead. The son of perdition. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is if, God. Anybody know what this temple is? I'm going to say if you've been paying attention. What is this temple we're talking about? The third temple. The third temple. Amen. Amen. The third, and where's the third temple is going to uh, be located at? Where? Israel. Amen. Amen. Very good. And, and that's the big thing right now. It's all about the third temple. The Antichrist, and I think we talked about it one time before, there is going to be a combination of Catholicism and Muslims. The Muslims believe in the Mahdi, which will be, they call the Antichrist. The Muslims does not mind 
uh, the Jewish people building that third temple. Why? Because they're going to do the abomination, a desolation, and desecrate the temple. So they want the Jewish people to build that temple. And in three and a half years, Satan embodied as, as the Antichrist will go in that temple and he want to get worship as God. Will the church be here at that time? No. Where will the church be? Rapture. rapture. Somebody say, I'm going by rapture. Going by rapture. First flight. Amen. So don't believe that garbage. Everybody be saying, "Well, I'm just gonna wait till the after after the tribulation get my head removed." Amen. Remember, God gonna send a strong Delusion. that they may believe, Alive. and they're gonna be them, right? Now we gonna we gonna get into that passage of scripture that if God sent a strong delusion, you don't gotta worry about getting your head cut off. <laughs> You're going to be deceived already, amen? Yeah, right. You know, and I don't like to get too much of politics, but uh, I like to just mess with some of you. When some of you had voted for uh, Obama, y'all thought that he was going to kind of help a certain type of people out. <laughs> All right? I'm just going to show you how gullible you really is. We always looking for a savior and a redeemer. And everybody thought Obama would be their savior and redeemer and kind of find out he blasphemed the Bible, he didn't believe in God, and he picked on our scriptures. Sure. But you wanted Obama, and that's how easy you can get deceived by the Antichrist. <laughs> if Obama deceived you, what you think the Antichrist would do? <laughs> Church folk. <laughs> After you get through talking in tongues and let, falling out and this and that, you still can be deceived. Because as soon as you went for Obama, I knew there was something wrong with the man in the first place. Somebody said you got to have discernment of spirits. Amen. Try these spirits. Try these spirits. And see if be of God. And it's crazy how he became a Christian at the end of the day he became a Muslim. Mm -hmm. You got some great discernment. You're getting better though. <laughs> Everybody good? Okay. Somebody say, don't look at the face of a man. But try their spirit and see if it be of God. Notice that try their spirit and see. You got it? Try their spirit and see. Not with these. You got to have the spirit to see spirit. That is why the Antichrist can't come. For us that are spiritual, we can see through him and we can say they got a devil. Have, how many got the discernment of spirits? You can just read people. I can see a devil a mile away. Amen? Even if you smile real good. <laughs> Amen? Somebody said you got to have it. Yeah. Okay, finish reading for me. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who, who now let it will let. Who is the he? Who is the he? <coughs> the Holy Spirit. Okay, now remember, Old Testament, that was praising the Father. In the New Testament, we had Jesus, the Son. Now we have the Holy Spirit, amen? Because remember, Jesus said, I will not leave you confident, but I will send my Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Spirit to lead and guide you into all truth. Once that period is over, now we go into the dispensation or we call wrath. Somebody say you must have the spirit. Have the spirit. I'm going to beat this into you. If you don't have it, you better seek God and make sure you do. Amen. 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 Have you ever went to, a, like back in the day, you went to a party and everybody said you got an invitation and you say, and you act like you had one and you got to the door and you found out you didn't have a ticket? <laughs> and you try to run up behind somebody else. It ain't gonna be none of that. You gonna have to have your somebody say your own Holy Ghost, your own Holy Ghost. by yourself, by yourself. And, make sure and make sure that you have it you before, have you leave. before you leave. Somebody say church can't help you. Can't no help cross, you. no crown can't help you. No and that moment will be no cross, no crown. It will be the ecclesia, the born again believers that Holy Ghost filled will only enter to those gates. Amen? Amen. Think about it. What's the only thing that can get you to resist your flesh? What's the only thing that can make you say no to temptation? 
If you don't have that, then how can you? Come on now. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't resist your flesh right now. Then how can you enter into the kingdom? The Holy Ghost is, is, is put into you to teach you and lead you to walk in all truth. Amen. It's teach you to deny your flesh. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't deny your flesh. You must be obedient to your flesh and you couldn't stop if you wanted to. If you have not the Spirit of God, you're not of His. Amen? Amen. Okay. Just want to make that clear. Because everybody ain't going. Amen? Amen? And that's what the New Age Church done done. They created church with no altars, no altar calls, no power of the Holy Ghost, no talking about sin, no talking about dying to your flesh. Everybody be happy over there. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible said through much Tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom Amen. of God. Now listen to me. Same will only give you hell if you got the spirit. Amen. 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 That's why you get tribulation. God knows those that belong to him and Satan knows those that belong to him too. Amen. Let me break something down to you. Satan knows what true holiness look like. Satan knows what true worship look like. Anybody know why? Because Satan worship in the presence of God. Yes. Satan knows what true holiness looks like. Now imagine this. Man, just imagine. If you walking along, you say, man, I can't wait to get to heaven. And Satan knows what God is going to receive. And he have you walking in a way that you think you're okay. But he knows by the time you see Jesus face to face, that will not be received. So we will have you thinking, and I say deception. deception. You're thinking everything's okay, but it's not okay. And you're walking in a way, and you think when you meet it, you won't meet it. And Satan will have you to walk that path, because he know where that path ends. Mm. My Lord. Everybody got it? Yeah. And so he will, he will throw something your way just to bother you and make you think you're on the right track. Somebody say, make your calling make your and calling. your election, election. sure. Amen. Sure. Okay. While y'all sleep, y'all better wake up. Because the Bible teaches us not to sleep, but to be awake and to be attentive. Yes. Amen? Amen? Because I'm teaching you some good stuff. Go ahead. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Who is the taken out of the way? Church. church. Everybody say the church. 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 Okay. Go ahead. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs. Somebody and say he's going to have some power. Mm -hmm. And signs and lying wonders. He said he have lying wonders. Lying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they received not the love of the truth that they may, might be saved. And for this cause, God. For what cause? This, this cause. cause. Why is God going to send a strong delusion? Because they had not the love for the truth. You can't like truth. Somebody tap your neighbor and say, You got to. Somebody say, You got to love truth. Some of y'all like church. Some, what you said, baby? You got to love it. Amen. Amen. Cause, cause I know where she going. Amen. Amen. I'm glad she loved it. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all just like it. Like that dude say, I just like, you love God, but I like God. Okay. You won't last too long. Amen. Go ahead. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe in lies, that they all might be damned. That some might be damned. All. Oh. What? All. Oh. All. Oh. 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 So, because they have not the love for the truth, God will send a strong delusion that they should believe in. Wow. Now, remember, we talked about this last week. If a man can lie to you and a woman can lie to you and you believe it, Imagine when God sent a strong delusion. 
Somebody say, imagine God sinning. Imagine God sinning. Let me mess with you. Some of you are in a delusion right now. You ain't have to get deceived by God yet. Mm. God don't got to send you a strong delusion. You already walking in a delusion. Jesus. Wow. It's like an easy deal for the devil. The devil said, wow. <laughs> I ain't really, we ain't have to really do nothing. They're already walking in a delusion. They think, it, how many anybody have just been punched drunk? Yes. Somebody hit you. you. Some of you ain't got your composure yet. You've been walking around spiritually drunk for a while and you've been walking around in a delusion and you don't know truth from fiction if you've seen it. Amen? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, if it would be safe to say if you're walking in a delusion now, would you be prepared for the rapture? Mm -hmm. Boy, I wish I could talk about this trumpet. Many would say, well, we hear the trumpet. Some said, well, we hear the trumpet. Would it be an audible trumpet that everybody's going to hear? Mm, mm. No. Mm, uh, come on now. But I believe, this is my belief, Sister Mom. I believe the people that are Holy Ghost filled, they're going to hear it in the spirit real. Come on now. Mm, they're going to hear it in the spirit real. And they're going to just perk up. Watch this. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to go back to my study. But watch this. Why would God just have us serving God and everybody say we make mistakes? Somebody say we have good days and have bad days. I believe when that happens, the trumpet is going to sound, the Holy Ghost is going to kick up, you're going to become a teacher, and you're going to say, I hear something in the spirit realm, and I got to make it right right now. The Bible says the trumpet will sound, and you're going to hear it and sense it in the spirit. And if you don't have the spirit, you ain't going to hear nothing. All you want to see is people dissipate. Right before your eyes, airplanes gonna fall out the sky, cars gonna run through red light, people just gonna, oh my god, riding bank systems and bank systems falling all over the place. At that moment, in the twinkling of an eye, they won't even be ready. Because they don't got the spirit to hear the spiritual trouble. So! I don't care how powerful you think you are or how deep you claim to be. You can't save nobody. Jesus. They got to get the Holy Spirit for themselves. Amen? Yes. Somebody say, you got to get it for yourself. Yes. Amen? Yes. I know I got it, Sister Rosella. I know I got it. And then it's like this here. When you know you know you got it, you know you know you got it. And some people walk around like this. I ain't trying to say if you got the spirit or not, but the way you look and the way you act, it's very questionable. Who am I? I'm not the judge. But one day, that trumpet will sound and we'll see who's going to be left standing. Yes. You know everybody say after the smoke clear, they're going to be standing? <laughs> after the smoke clear, they show going to be standing. Amen? But when the smoke clear and everything is gone, I ain't going to be here. Amen? Yeah. I can't wait for the rapture. I can't wait for this end time. I just can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, let the building prophecy road. We are in the last days, whether you like it or not, and you have to be and better be ready. Yes. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. The one said two one of two be in the field, one be taken, and one be left. Mm. Two be in the bed, both be left. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> be left. They want to know the rapture took place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They ain't gonna know. They have to watch it on the news that a UFO came and got him. <laughs> I'm serious. Some of you are playing Russian roulette right now. You don't know what Russian roulette is when you put a bullet in the chamber and you just spin it and click it. You play Russian roulette with your soul. But here it is. The rapture don't got to happen. All you need to do is get in a car accident and to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But to be absent from your body is to be present with the devil. Because you thinking that you got all this time. What happened? People are dying every single day. No, I ain't saying nothing. I'm not saying. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying. What if, you know, when something you just say, Mama, man, we, 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 God, Lord forbid something happened to her. That's one of my, that's my baby. 
And something happened to her. And they rolled her in the casket. And they said in the, in the church, where Mother Mary going to be at? Yeah. Now, it would be tragic for one of us to die. And they roll you in front of the church. And they say, How was they living? Mm. That got me in trouble. How was they living? Mm. I'm going to tell you right now. I told Sister Kim, I am not preaching no funeral if they ain't going to heaven. Mm. Nope. Mm. I give a couple words and I say, let God be God, but I'm not doing it. Amen. Amen. Hey, hey, you know what purgatory is? Purgatory is when you can buy a relative out of hell. That's how the, that's how the Catholic Church got rich. Buying folks out of hell. And you found out, nobody did later. They found out how to buy, buy, buy a way that you can get to heaven. Yes. They got rich off doing that. Yes. Ain't nobody the church did. I just preach you to heaven. Mm. Not this preacher. Yes. Come on. Not me. Come on. Not me. Come on. I'm not going to lie in front of 500 people. And you know how you're living. You know how you're shacking up. You know how you're doing what you're doing. And if you die tonight, yes. mm. would it be a mystery? Yes. Somebody say, we'll just wait and see. Somebody say, I ain't no way to see type of person. Somebody say, you're going to know for sure where I'm at. Well, 100%, I'm going to show you how to live saved, die saved, preach saved, and go to heaven saved. Amen? Amen. You know I had to say go to heaven saved because you ain't going to heaven if you ain't saved. <laughs> Everybody good? Yeah. They loving it back there. Love it. <laughs> Amen. Let's go. Not the truth, but had pleasure in them right They had pleasure doing what? Right. Just had just love it. Just had they just had a good time doing it. Somebody say had pleasure doing it. Somebody say just enjoy doing it. Hey really, I don't mean to put y'all on blast. But y'all been dating for a while. Have y'all had an intimacy before y'all got married? Why? Clap your hands to the Lord. It is possible, amen. It depends on what your flesh say, amen. Yes. Somebody say, my flesh no. says no. Yes. Amen. Yes. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Go ahead and clap your hands until the Lord. How much time I got? I want, I want to make sure all this get on the tell this. The camera's good. She got some battery left. And as soon as she get done, somebody else get their phone out too. <laughs> the kids don't got school. Amen. I'm, I'm past that since Naisha. <laughs> Everybody good? Yes. And you know the lawless one is referring to what we call the Antichrist. Yes. Amen? Yes. And the Bible says he that is restrained until he be taken out of the way. Let's go into um who has the um uh, Exodus. And before you read Exodus, I want to read something real quick. With the church being taken out of the way, somebody said it's Satan and the Antichrist is gonna have their way. They're gonna be able to bring death, terror, and destruction. That it ain't found them what man even thought what they can do. Amen? Amen. And check this out. They're going to do it without divine intervention. God is not going to stop them. Amen. Amen? Somebody said the devil's bad. The devil's bad. It's going to really get bad when God lift up his Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Okay. In three and a half years, Satan and the Antichrist are going to cause so much death and destruction on the earth, and we talked about it, that Jesus himself we have to shorten the days. If not, won't no flesh live. Amen. Wow. Somebody says bad. bad. If man, if Satan had his way tonight, he'll wipe out each and every one of you. Somebody say, I thank God for grace and mercy. Yeah. If it weren't for grace and mercy, he'll wipe us clean out tonight. And not one of us will live. Amen. Yeah. God is so good. Yes. But God is suffering. And he's long suffering. But he's not eternal suffering, amen? amen. Eventually, everything must end in judgment. Amen? amen. Okay. Exodus 19, 17. 
Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. And Everybody, hold on. I want to make sure we get this. And, and this uh, passage is a type of the rapture. Amen. Let everybody just turn there. And when you get it, just get a Lord of amen. amen. This is this is a very important scripture. And it's kind of like, it's somewhat like the rapture. I mean, it's just run parallel with the rapture. In fact. Okay, Brother Robert, go ahead. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the either part of the mount. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof descended as the smoke of a furnace. And Say the Lord descended. Lord descended. That means he what? He came down. He came down. Go ahead. And the whole mount quaked greatly. Mm -hmm. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long. They what? The voice of the, the, voice of the what? The Y'all got it? Y'all see, y'all see, because when we go back to Thessalonians, you're going to hear about the trump. You're going to find Jesus descending, amen. It's the type of the rapture. Amen. Go ahead. And wax louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai and on the top of the mount. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mount. You see what just happened? God comes down and what? Moses comes up. What, what is the rapture? The rapture is God is not coming in the second event, or we mean the second coming. That the second coming, Jesus put his feet on Mount Olive. Hey, hey, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Y'all dead. When you clap a hand, maybe y'all should join it. That was good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> y'all be like, y'all be hanging or something. Somebody get y'all. <laughs> but he put his feet on my eyes. But the, the, the rapture is, is God coming to earth. No? He's coming halfway. Amen. Mm -hmm. it, we just did a couple weddings, right? The, the bridegroom, what is he doing? He's, he's, he's waiting. Yes. Right? That's where we get our weddings from, how we got our wedding ceremony. They're, they're waiting, and here comes the bride. the bride, right? And he waits for the bride, the bride amen? And when he gets the bride, he, they cuff hands, and they walk up to the oh. altar, amen? And I'm just getting ahead of myself. And then the Bible says there will be seven years of the marriage supper of the Lamb. After they get married, they go into this great supper, amen? Everybody say, man, I want to have supper. I mean, I mean, some of you can cook. Listen, listen, what do you make some? You can cook. But to go to heaven and have the Lord prepare a place and a table, and He said before my enemies, y'all ain't hearing me. He said prepare a table in front of your enemies. Do y'all not know what's gonna go on? We're gonna be in the presence of God. He's gonna have this nice spread, and we're gonna be looking down and saying, "Man, the Antichrist is acting a fool." Amen. 